Welcome back to the channel everybody. I recently had to replace the inner tie rod on this side on the Mustang so I thought it was a good opportunity to kind of go over how I set up the tow on the car. So as you see here I got some tow plates. So there's another one of these on the other side of the car. Uh, these are tow plates that I made obviously because I couldn't justify spending $100 for just a sheet of metal. So it's just a sheet of metal with a 90 degree bend in it. I got some holes drilled and some slots. So I got the holes drilled for a bungee cord so that holds it nice and tight to the tire. And then slots for putting in the tape measures. So the tape measures are attached to the other side so you, you can pull this tight and Right now we got a quarter inch, roughly a quarter inch of toe in. So the short or the the front tape measure is a shorter distance than the rear tape measure. So we got toe in. So toe plates are great for figuring out your toe and setting your toe, but their their one weakness is you kind of need to know what you're starting from. You can set the toe between the two tires, but if one of your tires is already turned a little bit, or you can set up the toe to where your tires are going at an angle. Um, so it's good if you already know what the toe you're starting from, because you need to adjust both tie rods on the left and right, kind of the same distance when you're making your toe adjustments. But if you got a brand new component on there, uh, it, it kind of gets, it gets hard. So it's saying that I have a quarter inch of toe in, but I know that my passenger side, because I've checked it and set it, is at zero toe or very close to zero toe with the steering wheel straight. So that's telling me that I have a quarter inch of toe in on just this side right now. How do you make sure that both sides are the same? Uh, the easiest way to do that is the string method. So that is setting up a string on both sides of the car that is parallel to the car. Uh, so you do that by taking measurements off of something that you know is straight on the car. So be it like the, the pinch weld or some frame rail. Um, I also try to set it off of the rear tire. The rear end is a solid axle so there is no toe changes or anything like that as long as your links are all the same length your axle should be straight in the car uh, so we are in the digital age so in lieu of doing the string measurement i have a laser set up back here if you can see it so i have a laser set up that i've made parallel to the rear axle so then i can come in here put a tape measure on the the wheel and the laser will hit and tell me the measurement of my toe on just the one side. So that's how I set up the other side. I use the laser, got it parallel, and then set my toe on that side to be zero. All right, so from this angle, you should be able to see the, the laser. So green laser. Measuring onto the rotor, I have nine and an eighth in the rear and nine and three eighths in the front. So I have a quarter inch of toe. So since I'm measuring off of this, like a plane here to the, to the rotor, a distance larger in the front then in the rear means that I have toe in where measuring on these since they're going in between the two tires a shorter distance in the front versus a, a longer distance in the rear means toe in so it's their opposite of each other so that's just one thing to kind of keep in mind if whichever method that you're going with when you're setting up your toe all right so since I have toe in on this tire I'm gonna need to adjust the tie rod to push this tire out. I'm trying, I'm shooting for zero toe on both sides. So not really gonna go over toe too much, it's just the relationship of the tires. So toe in, the, tire, the front of the tires are pointing in, toe out, the tires are pointing out. 
I'm running zero toe because I have Delrin aluminum bushings in there, so I don't have much flex going on in the control arm. If I was running rubber or polyurethane uh, bushings, I would want to have a little bit of toe in, so then when you're driving, the friction of the road versus the tires will kind of pull the tires back and will straighten them up. So since I don't really, I won't have too much of actual flexing, I'm going to run zero toe. For autocross, it's actually pretty good to run a little bit of toe out. It will help turn in response, but on the street, you'll get a lot of darting motion. So for a little while, I did run toe out to get that little bit of better turn in response. Uh, but then driving the car on the street, it was all over the place, any kind of little bump everything it just wanted to turn which is great it's the car that's made for to turn but on the street i didn't want that so i've i've brought it back in i've made a compromise of running zero toe to be able to have some street ability along with autocross uh turn and response toe is also one of the big culprits of tire wear on the street so an improperly set uh, toe can destroy your tires because it's always kind of wanting to scrub or turn or something like that. So toe is very important. Toe is also the last adjustment that you make in your alignment. So the first one would be caster, then you set your camber, and then you set your toe because all those adjustments will have an effect on the one, the next, next one. So. Caster will affect camber, camber will affect toe, toe is also affected by a caster, so it's a, just a, a domino effect. So set your toe last. So let me get this one adjusted and we'll recheck it. So ideally, you would want to be making these adjustments on toe plates that can help swivel and not ha add friction to the tires and suspension. We don't really have toe plates, so kind of want to wiggle the suspension what you can. All right, so I made the adjustment and now I have, it looks like about an eighth or three sixteenths of toe out according to both both measurements. So this is looking like an eighth eighth of toe out. So I'm gonna need to bring it back in just a little bit, wiggle everything and recheck. So did a little too many turns, wasn't really sure how many, so I just kinda kept turning. Alright, so my all my measurements are the same now, so I got zero toe. So I can then lock down the the tie rod jam nut on this side and everything's good. But you also want to make sure when you're adjusting your toe is that the steering wheel is straight. So it's best to put like a steering wheel lock on it or get it locked if you have the lock still built into it. That way your steering wheel is not moving. If you're driving down the road and your steering wheel is turned a little bit, that is all set by the toe. So you could then go in and lengthen the one side and shorten up the other side of your tie rods to get your steering wheel back straight. So that's one way to know if your alignment shop did a good job is if you then go drive the car and the steering wheel is straight when you're driving straight. Everything was done correctly, the toe is set up correctly, or the toe is set correctly in relationship to the steering wheel. The steering wheel is straight. It might be slightly off um, when driving down the road going straight just because this is a home alignment. There is room for error. We don't have computers to correctly calculate all the distances and all that kind of stuff, but this will get you really close and it's close enough for a race car. All right, to uh, check the the toe settings and alignment, I'm gonna go take the car for a drive. 
So here we go. There you have it, there's setting the toe using two different methods, uh, a toe plate and the string method. So pro and cons of the toe plates, uh, it's super easy to use. You just set it up between the two wheels with tape measures. Uh, the accuracy is as good as your tape measures are um, and it, they're pretty cheap. You can get these toe plates pretty affordably. So a con of toe plates are that you kind of need to know where you're starting from with your toe settings. So like an example, say you got one wheel at zero toe, another wheel at quarter inch toe in. So you think that you have a quarter inch of toe in that you're measuring it. Um, in actuality, you kind of have eighth inch of toe on each side because once you start driving, your, t your wheels will want to kind of straighten up and now your steering wheel is also crooked. So it helps to kind of know where you're starting from to get your toe uh, exactly where you want it. That's where the machines kind of come in handy because they're measuring each side uh, kind of independently and then together. Uh, the string method is, in my opinion, the most accurate because uh, you're measuring each wheel kind of independently. You're measuring it off the, off the string so you're getting a, a displacement from the string to the tire on the front and the back of the tire of each one independently. Um, the string method can be super cheap or quite expensive. So they do have kits out there that kind of attach to the, the front and the rear of the car and have a bar that come out. So then you run a string in between the two bars. So then you know that it's uh, parallel. Those are the best ones, but those ones are a couple hundred bucks. So you got that end of it, or you can just set up some jack stands, do a string between it, measure off, get them all squared up on each side, and that costs you basically nothing. Um, so there's two, it could be cheap or expensive. Uh, the accuracy I think is a lot better with the, with the string method. So it's really good if you're doing adjustments on the front and the rear axle, if you have like an independent rear. So you can set the toe for both of those at the same time kind of thing uh, and any other measurements that you may need to know or, or also you can see if your axles are uh, parallel to each other. So yeah that wraps it up for setting the toe on the car as you saw in the drive. The car tracks straight, the steering wheel is straight, you let your hands off, the car just goes straight so the toe is dialed in to where I want it to be. So hopefully you learned something from this video on how to set up toe, why toe is it important for tire wear and just turning in general. So thank you for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.